Now, the report that I'm going to go through uh, literally just takes a couple minutes to uh, generate, and it's pretty powerful. I always let my clients know, in this example, there's 19 pages to uh, this report. So if you're a detailed person like I am, you're going to love the report because it has all the details that you want to see. But if details are a little overwhelming and you're more of a summary person, you're going to love my report because, of course, I've summarized everything in a very easy way uh, to analyze. So what I do is I always go right to the point and in the bar charts. Really, really powerful because most mortgage professionals will talk about how much money a client's going to save on their mortgage and what that cost to recover that cost, how long it's going to take to recover the cost to refinance. So if we were looking at $8,000 of cost with a payment savings of $400 a month, it's 1.83 years to recover the cost. But that really isn't the full story. Because what you need to do is you need to be able to compare your client's current amortization schedule to their new amortization schedule. And it really says whether it makes sense to refinance or not. So looking at bar charts, if let's say that my client uh, was keeping this property for 10 years, if they stayed on their current mortgage in the next 10 years, they're going to pay $179,000 in interest. I always show clients five cost structures on a refinance because there's a lot of different interest rates they can choose from. They can pay some points and get an awesome interest rate, or they can do a no closing cost loan and take a higher rate, and anything in between. So I like to give options. So this shows really easily over 10 years. Option one, they're going to pay $120,000 in interest versus Option five, which I'll show you in a second, $140,000 in interest. So you can see their current mortgage, they're going to pay a lot more interest. Now, another way to look at it is the balance in 10 years. So this is it. It either makes sense or it doesn't, just based on looking at this one chart. In, at the end of 10 years, where is their current mortgage going to be? If they stayed on their current mortgage 10 years from today, they're going to have a balance of 304000 So if we compare apples to apples on refinancing versus not, if they continued making the exact same payment, so they took that nice payment savings and they applied it towards principal, which mortgage would pay off first? That's it. This chart right here. No questions asked says if it makes sense to refinance or not. Now again, there's five cost structures. Paying points and getting an awesome rate, which means you're paying more in closing cost, or doing a no closing cost loan. If they plan on keeping it 10 years, you can see it makes sense for them to pay the points. See the difference between keeping their current mortgage, going on a new mortgage, and making the same payment as they're required to make today. Now whether or not a client's going to take that payment savings and apply towards principal, it's ultimately up to them. But what my job is is just to give a comparison of apples to apples. So really, really powerful report. Now once I show those two charts, because then it just emotionally gets them disconnected from all of the numbers, which they want to be able to see that, but they can plainly see what we're going to go over, I'll just take them right to the summary page. And a lot of times what I actually do is I'll, I'll snip the remaining balance chart and I'll snip the interest paid chart right in the body of the email and say, hey, you know, let me know when we can get together and go through the analysis. As you can see, um, I can save you a lot of money on your current mortgage versus refinancing. So this is just the five different cost structures. Um, interest rate 3.375, 3.5, 3.625, 3.75. Let's jump to 4% so we can show a no closing cost loan. So they can get an awesome interest rate, pay some points, points go down, as the rate goes up, points go down, rate goes up, this is a no point loan, and this is a no closing cost. So this gives all of the details, the chart summarizes it in, in a nice visual, and then of course if they want more details, they can see what they can do with that payment savings. They can apply towards principal, which we talked about, they can invest at some type of savings, which um, is another option, or they just spend the money. So I give them this detail. Then they've got the individual cost breakdowns. They can look at all the details for all five cost structures. They can look all of the amortization schedules through all five cost structures. And they can actually also see their current amortization schedule and where they're at. So very, very powerful um, analysis for whether it makes sense to refinance. So call to action if you guys have any clients. 
um, you want to just reach out to them and find out if it would be a, a benefit for them. I don't have to talk with them initially. If, if you just want to say, hey, uh, just give me existing information on your mortgage, I can send you a, uh, a link where they can complete that. I'll have my mortgage professional do an analysis for you. Um, however you want me to connect uh, with your clients, I would love an opportunity to help them save money. So Kiyoki, that one was for you. Any questions? Yeah, and of course I go through things a little bit quicker with you guys than I do with my client. This is more like a 30-minute um, conversation that I break down for you guys. But yes, Kiyoki, so what, what I do is I immediately go to this chart right here because this, this chart, it's going to say it makes sense or it doesn't make sense. Now, again, they're not coming in with any money at closing. We're rolling all of the cost into the new loan. So here's their current mortgage right now. If they did not refinance, they told me they were going to keep it for 10 years. So in 10 years, they're going to owe just over 304000 But if they refinance, let's just use cost structure one, all the cost rolled into the loan, they're, they have a payment savings. And that payment savings, I'm going to assume they're going to apply towards principal. So they're going to make the exact same payment that they are today, which mortgage will pay off sooner. So if they decide not to do that, they don't have to do that. But this is a easy compare apples to apples. Does but that in, answer that question? In this scenario, option one looks like it's going to cost them 10000 almost $11,000 to do. And uh, so yes. are, are you putting that 11000 then into the three oh? So basically, as long as it's more than eleven thousand dollars, it's a gain. Well, what I, what I did is I always roll in closing cost and prepaids into the new loan, so they're not coming in with any money at closing. I'm taking the closing cost and prepaids and I'm financing it into this new loan. Right. And then I'm just going to show them if you took this four hundred dollars and you applied it towards principal. Because we're going to make the same payment. Today you're going to make a payment of twenty five eighty seven a month. What if you and made a payment of twenty five eighty seven a month on your new mortgage? Because the new mortgage's payment is only twenty one eighty five. So you're saying on the twenty one eighty five you're going to keep paying twenty twenty five eighty seven. Paying the same amount as you did before you refinance. And which one? So which one was that? So that one that's the in the chart is the first one. So even Option. paying the four hundred dollar. So this isn't even sh okay. But what if you? So it's even going to be worse if you don't pay. So this is basically that chart you're showing is a chart that shows if you paid extra. So so it's super better. <laughs> Right, because it, well, yeah. So I show it two ways, um, Kiyoki. So on the interest, on the interest chart, uh -huh. they're not applying anything towards principal on the interest chart. I'm just showing on your current mortgage, you're going to pay $179,000 more in interest if you stay on this loan. If you go with option one, no extra payment towards principal at all, you're going to pay $120,000 in interest. So that's a that's a way to look at it. Then the what you're going to owe. This I just I want to do apples to apples. Make the same payment that you're making today, and what mortgage will pay off sooner? So that's what this, so this shows. But four hundred more than your than you need to. It's still not enough. The refinance still saves you money. Yeah. So say that one more time, Kiyoki. Even though you're not, you're paying more. You're paying four hundred dollars more than you need to on your on. It's still, it's still. So this three hundred four eleven one eleven is what you owe, even though you're paying four hundred dollars a month more. Yes, but you're really not paying four hundred dollars a month more on this visual on, here, so it, because yeah. I'm showing that you're taking that and paying it towards principal, because that gives us a comparison apple to apple. Right. Okay. Okay, but Kiyoki, what I do do is just, I give them, just, what I show them is this is, they have three things they can do with this $400, $402 a month savings, three options. They pay principal, which that's what the charts show. And why, again, the chart shows that is because this is comparing apples to apples. But who knows what they're going to do with that money. So I'm going to give them all, I'm going to show them how everything works. If they take that payment and apply towards principal, this is the savings. 
if they take the payment and they invest at some type of return, and I don't ask them what they're going to return on their investment, I show them what they need to return on their investment to have a bigger savings than applying towards principal. So this is an easy, you know, if you think you're going to make more than 4.5% investing that $402 a month in some type of asset class other than paying principal, then you want to invest it because you can see your 54,000 savings instead of 51,000 savings over 10 years. But let's say that you don't want to take that $400 or $2 a month payment and apply towards principal. You don't want to invest it. You just want to spend the money. Whatever you want to do with it, here's the three plans. Principal, invest, or just spend the money. So they can still see, even if they just spent that $400 a month on something that makes them nothing, they're still $42,000 ahead from their current mortgage. Really powerful. So there's all of the details. What I do is I just chime in initially with these two charts because this is the power piece. And then they can really go deep and look into more of the numbers. Does that, is that helpful? Yeah. Okay. I think this is a really good good piece here. And is this something that I'm sure you do it? You must send something to your clients who have purchased and update them that, hey, it's time to, you need to look at refinancing. So what, what we do is, uh, Victoria, during Power Hour, she calls all of our clients on a quarterly basis to check in to see if there's anything that they, they need from me. But also during that time, we've got a trigger that says where clients are at with their rate and whether it makes sense to refinance. And so this is what, this is what happens is an email followed up by uh, a phone call with these two charts. So we'll snip the interest paid chart and we'll snip the, um, the principal balance chart. And that triggers a conversation to go over in detail what their options are. Awesome. Sweet. All right. That's nice. Well, very nicely done. Thank you. Anything else that you guys, uh, or what questions are coming up for you that came up over the uh, last week or any challenges that you're having uh, with financing, put it in the chat box and I'll bring it in for Mortgage Minutes. If I'm you, watching. If you I'm can watching. stay on, Tina, I have uh, the section when we get to our contract section, we're talking about financing. So if you're around, we I'm on. Uh, stuff. Okay, I'm I'm staying on. Perfect. All Thank right. Thank you guys. Thank you.